Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about HIT, high intensity interval training, and why you're probably not seeing results with it. I'm going to go over the reasons why you're probably not losing fat, just like you've been hearing that HIT is going to change your life. If you do 10 minutes of HIT, it's better than two hours of anything else. It sounds too good to be true. And guys, it is, it is too good to be true. Anytime something is too good to be true, it is. You guys don't want to hear the truth. You have to put in the work. You have to progressively overload. You have to build lean muscle over time. And that's what's going to help you boost your metabolism. So then when you want to burn some body fat, it's all going to happen. And it might even happen at the same time, but it's a slow progress, but it is the one that works long term forever. No quick fixes. Anytime you're trying to use a quick fix to get results, you're going to take one step forward and two steps back. I want to try to keep this short. So let's go right into the points of why hit isn't working. Number one, you're doing it wrong. Hit high intensity interval training is a style of training where you go all out for a short amount of time, like all out, not like tired, like all out hundred percent and then you need to recover then you go all out again guys this is what elite athletes used to train it has its place it has a, a purpose but most of you guys aren't using it this way when I am on YouTube I see these 45 minute hit workouts and they're just they're just doing interval training which is fine or circuit training or time training which is good which is great but it's not giving you those same benefits of HIIT, H-I-I-T. Second point, you are not burning as many calories as you think. Let's say you're like, okay, I'm gonna do 10 to 20 minutes of HIIT, that's all I need. Well, research shows, I'll have it linked below, that 10 to 20 minutes of HIIT doesn't in fact burn as many calories as you know, 45 minutes, an hour of low intensity steady state cardio. So you're better off doing something that's easier for a longer term if you're actually trying to burn more calories and I, I know a lot of you are going to say well epoch epoch which epoch stands for excess post exercise oxygen consumption so it, it just means how many calories you're burning you know hours after you stop exercising because a lot of people believe that hit has a greater epoch but research shows that it's not that high it's not as high as you think when it compares the epoch to the total amount of another style of training hits doesn't actually burn the most calories guys other types of training burns more calories than hit so that's maybe why you're not seeing the results you want to see guys disclaimer i do think that there's a time and place for hit i just don't think it's the best for fat loss specifically number three hit is extremely hard to recover from i used to be an elite tennis player and we did hit okay it was like 10 minutes or less and it was all out it was horrible and your legs would die and it would be hard to do other stuff so if you're doing that and thinking you're gonna have an awesome leg workout afterwards or even the next day you're not you need a lot of recovery from hit lifting weight should always be number one so you can build lean muscle so then you're gonna boost your metabolism you burn more calories at rest so then any extra cardio you do will be bonus, but you shouldn't focus on cardio if your main goal is fat loss. And I know that's gonna shock you, but it's the truth. Guys, building muscle is the way to go if you're looking for long-term fat loss success, not losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. Number four, HIT uses carbs as fuel versus LIS uses fat as fuel. So yeah, if you're an elite athlete, you're eating a ton of carbs. Carbs are great, they're great for fuel, and you go and do this high intensity interval training session, elite athletes are not focusing on fat loss, they're focusing on performance. If that's not really your goal, then maybe list would be better because it uses more fat during the workout versus HIT. Number five is HIT is way higher impact than LIS. You have higher chance of injury. There's a much higher chance that you're not going to be able to maintain this long term. So if you do it short term and get results and then you stop, what do you think you're just going to maintain those results by not doing it? No, whatever you do, you need to continue doing to keep those results. You know, if you don't think you're going to be able to go all out, kill yourself, 
push yourself to like a hundred percent if that's not what you want to do long term to get results then don't do it because <laughs> the thought of doing hit for me makes me want to skip my workout I'm like, okay, there's just no chance that I wanna go all out like that. When I was an athlete, I did those types of workouts a lot because that was my goal. My goal was performance. But now it's more, you know, building strength, looking a certain way, feeling good. So it's not about killing myself or injuring myself to get results. When I can get results, not hating the process. Guys, we have this belief that to get results, you need to totally torture yourself and it should not be that way guys the best results if you are trying to body recomp i have a full video on it i'll link it down below but it shouldn't be torture put your intensity towards your weight lifting i consider my style of weightlifting like a hit high intensity training because we are going to get a lot of cardio benefits in there we are challenging our muscles while sculpting our bodies we're getting we're working it all. You should be tired from your weight training, so you probably wouldn't even have the energy to do hit. Maximum list. If you have too much energy for your cardio, you aren't training hard enough with your weights. And guys, I forgot to mention nutrition. Like nutrition is key. You have to be eating a balanced diet in order to see results. 10 minutes of hit isn't gonna outdo crap that you're eating. It's the truth. I feel like I've said it all. I feel like if you don't get it now, I can't help you. If you need a new style of training, guys, try my MZM method, Michelle's metabolic conditioning. Guys, this is gonna burn fat, build lean muscle, so you can get results like you've never gotten before. This is the type of training that you need to do to change your body. Anyway, let me know if you have any additional questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on HIT. Do you like it? Have you seen results with it? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. And thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.